Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. I'm going to be taking on these lizard folk today. And hopefully not getting um, completely destroyed by Petrify. I'm fine with taking a little damage in the front, but I'd really rather not get petrified again. Looks like we're doing okay. And we paralyzed, so we pretty much got this. He's doing 99 damage. Really good. And if I've got the money, which I don't, so never mind, um, I think I'll just move forward and take out the mermaid instead. And mm, so my skeleton still gets attacked, but oh boy. Well, we should be able to take him down for next turn anyway. Oh, the Kraken might still be an issue. Unless we paralyze. And now we finally have our Dreadworm. The thing is gigantic, look at that. But he's a pretty good unit, so... Get to show him off soon. I've actually never had one in my party before. I didn't realize they were this big. But it looks nice. Hopefully we'll get to kill something with him soon. And our zombie... What should we do with him? We, should, we could kill the thief. But I think I'm going to kill this guy instead because he's, uh, he stole our city. So, do what we can to take that back. The zombie's going to die, uh, no doubt about that. But our wraith should be able to clean things up. Although they probably will just run away. I may have an option to kill the leader. And that's it. And then from here, I can move forward and take... Well, I guess I can just attack him again. And try to deal some damage to... He's doing 60, so probably the best option would be to take up the dwarf. Or not. And then if he doesn't put anything in there, like a hill giant, I can take the city with that wraith. Or in fact, I can just go kill this guy. Take the city first. And then pop out and kill this guy with the two zombies. <sighs> Come on, guys. There we go. We're gonna take some damage, but it's not a big deal. We can handle this. We might lose the top zombie. In fact, we will unless he misses. Yeah, but we can still take out the entire party unless... Unless that happens. Okay, so we weren't quite able to finish her off. But... He's stuck in hostile territory with no leader, so we'll be fine to just pick him off um, at some point in the future. And I think we've stopped them from planting rods on our territory as well for the moment. And soon enough, Brian will be back on the front lines. So no worries. Ooh, that's not good. That's probably... Ooh. Okay, that was not what I was expecting, actually. This is probably gonna... take my city from me. He's got 50 armor, doing 70 damage to everybody. I'm not gonna be able to deal with that. But he's a summoned unit, so he can't actually take the city, so... At least it's okay for now. Uh, Brian will have to come down and clean this up. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got a few moving forward. Quite a few, actually. So, yeah, he's sending his uh, heavy hitters to come take my city, I think. But we should still have enough to... Yeah, he's going to take a while to get back anyway. So if we take a detour and kill these two lizard men. We can just mop up afterwards. What is their initiative? 50. Okay. They just always seem to be going before my units. And then the Dreadworm should finish these two off. Ooh, nice attack. So I've got a Wraith who can deal with him and get killed by him afterwards. Or, uh, it's the Thief in the way though, so... We'll have to take him out first. Oh, he's actually defending as well, so... I will be able to actually kill him. get some experience for that. The Wraith actually does have a lot of experience, so I shouldn't be throwing it away, but I mean it's not really going to be useful later on, so I might as well. Although, or here's what we can do. Oops, that's not... we need to trade. There we go. Although the leaders must be alive and this leader is not. Nothing I can do there then. Have this zombie run away. And that's all I've got left. Okay. So we'll have to send Brian down to finish uh, dealing with everything. As always. Probably get one of my gold mines stolen from me. Not really a big deal though. Oh, I'm surprised that she didn't steal it. But the Mountain Clans will anyway. And they're taking that city. Probably gonna try to move forward to the next. Well, this is annoying. Oh, he's just gonna continue running that way. Okay. Now, if I had haste, I could get there, but I don't. I'll have to wait till next turn. I can't do anything about that with my wraith. Or, like, half of these guys, really. Hmm. I'll put him in the city, anyway. Maybe he can do something at some point. No, actually, we will summon a uh, Nightmare. Try to stop this guy. And then... I actually probably could use the Wraith to take out... the Angel. Oh, come on. Can't believe he missed both of them. So that gives them a free level each. Awesome. I should be able to take her out without any difficulty. She'll probably try to heal herself. Oh no, she's just going to try to run away. Which makes it so much easier to deal with. Okay. No, let's, in fact, let's just leave her alone. End my turn, and deal with it later. I do still have to hire that Banshee at the top city. Been forgetting about that. 
It's not super important. Um, it's more important to try to keep them from getting my resources. Like my gold. But the mana can be useful. More so death and infernal though. So I'll see what I can do about keeping those intact. And I hope they keep concentrated over here and don't move too far into my territory. Otherwise I'll just sack it all and keep moving. I don't want to keep playing this run around. I might even just take out their most powerful party and just give up on all of this and continue forward. Yeah, let's do that. Can we make it to this guy? Yeah, we can. And he's got a Tempest Giant, a Venerable Warrior, Flamecaster, and a Lore Master. My skeleton is really beat up though. Hmm. I might be able to stop in the city first to heal. So it takes quite a bit of gold to heal people. And I can still make it here, so I think I'm okay to do this. Oops. Let's find out. So if I can take him out, that'll be the number one threat on the map dealt with. He's doing 40 to everybody, that's not much. He's doing 43 and he's doing 50. So let's deal with him. The Dreadworm should finish off most of them. Especially if he gets the poison off on this guy. Well, he didn't get it on the Flamecaster, but that's alright. We should be able to take him with Brian. And that's that. So that should be the most powerful party you've dealt with. And he's at 16.06. Doing pretty well. Elven boots. I think that's what I had already. Boot of the elements. I prefer that, especially for this mission. Yeah, I had elven boots already, so I think I'll swap over to boots of the elements. Bit more useful, especially in this mission. And just overall, really. Um... <laughs> He's not getting very far without the leader. So... We will throw him back in the city. How much does it cost to revive? 200? We'll do it. And throw him back in the city. And end our turn. Yeah, hopefully that rod planter runs away. It's their typical response when faced with a party right next to them. But we'll see what their reaction is this time. If he decides to plant the rod, it's not really something that I'm looking forward to dealing with. So I'll have to get a banshee all the way over there. I don't even have enough gold for one at the moment, so... Ah, not another one of these. And he's doing earth-based damage, so my wraith is useless here. Fantastic. Nope, can't quite make it to my zombie means the Mountain Clans will probably take that city instead. Which is fine. I'll just take it back. 
Not a big deal. Getting sick of all these rod planters everywhere, though. Really? <sighs> okay, so Brian... How far can you get? Oh, you can actually make it all the way to this city. Well, with the boots of the elements, of course. Um, so, take that back. Now, I'm pretty much free to take this stuff back as soon as I get some gold to hire another party. Because another party, just a secondary one to deal with the rod planters, should be enough. Unless they continue to summon those gigantic creatures everywhere. But we'll see. At least they can't take the cities themselves. They have to rely on other units to follow up. So if I can clear the area out, even if they summon a golem to destroy the party that's in my cities, they won't be able to take them so, I should still be okay. Plus, I can summon a few nightmares here and there as well. To deal with these guys. Really annoying. Okay, where do we start? The Empire, I suppose. Take this guy out. Wow, did I just do 75 damage? Nice. And I guess we can drain his level and let the Dreadworm deal with the Archer. Perfect. And that's pretty much all I can do on this turn. I could summon a nightmare to deal with her at least. It's not guaranteed to kill the uh, Mountain Clan's parties, but should deal with the Angel without too much difficulty. So that's that, and he can't make it there. He can make it to this one, though. <laughs> He's got a venerable warrior. He's not doing anything to them. Darn it. Could... No, I can't follow it up with a zombie, either. So, I guess the zombie will have to stick it out in the capital. And let Brian deal with most of this. Well, now that we've got the boots of the elements, though, we can cross the sea back and forth without uh, taking too much time. I am a fan of that. Yeah, now this body of water doesn't seem so daunting. I'm gonna have to hire another Banshee to deal with those. Oh well. I'll deal with it uh, next turn, I suppose. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.